please. Six, six, try which one? Do you guys hear us? The video camera? No. No. Yeah, they see it. They oh, can hear you now. Kendra, can you? Okay, great. All right, that worked. <laughs> okay, so every, everybody can hear us now? Yes, I can yeah. hear you. Sort of. Uh, well, we can right. you. We can, can, what, can you say something so we can tell if we can hear you? You're probably all on mute. Yes. Mary, can you hear me? I'm here. How's that? Trying to tell me he hears, but they can't hear them. See, is the volume up on that thing? Yeah, she just uh... like speaker. Unmute your speaker and increase the volume to hear the other participants. Where's that? It's with this with the sign that just popped up. <laughs> hello, Charlie. Can you say hello? We're, we're trying to test audio on our hello. end. Testing, testing. Nothing. All right, we know you're oh. but we can't hear you yet. We're working on it. Do you know which one of those is volume, Vanessa? Or... I don't. I don't think. Oh, okay. So yeah, here we go. Yeah. Um, maybe audio settings. No. Looks like everything's working. I mean, it's. Can I hit test speaker if possible? Charlie, say hello to us again. They can't hear them. What did you say? Yeah. Can you guys hear me? Okay, good. Yes. Okay, good. All right, everybody, can everybody hear us and speak? Oh, no. yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, good. All right, welcome. Uh, let the record show. Uh, let's see, before we get going, committee attendance, uh, you have Judy Deutsch, Charlie Palachi of the committee, Mary Longacre, Ben Shampoo, and Dave Shampoo uh, of the committee. So we have a we have a quorum. So we'll proceed with uh, with the meeting. Uh, oh, let me see we have on the agenda for today. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Judy, you have a do you have a, an agenda? I don't think I do. Just let me look yeah. and see if it's. How about you? Uh, it, it 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 doesn't matter. Uh, I got it. I have one. Sorry, it's just I'm looking at my phone. Yes, I have one. All right. So, uh, need a motion on accepting the agenda. No move. Second. All right, all in favor? All right. And there are no minutes of the previous meeting, so um, uh, we'll bypass that and we'll move directly to, unless there's other public, well, well, we can go back to that because Andrea, you are here uh, for 126 Main Street, I believe. Yes. Okay, great. Because that's, that's number one on our agenda uh, for discussion. Uh, what, uh, I, actually you're right there on the site. Uh, how, how are, how are things with the, uh, with the, I, I think we've got it straightened out with the, the contract, hopefully. Oh, that's good to know. Uh, we, we're just, uh, the family's just worried because, uh, we noticed how some of the major routes have been cut. Yep. Um, on on uh, obviously the 126 side of the construction site with the deep, um, you know, with the deep new foundation put in, and and just w wondering what your assessment is and what you think uh, if if the tree is going to be okay. <laughs> um, we're we're curious. I, I think I think it I think it's going to be fine. I, it, it, they only, that was pretty much surface roots that that, that yeah, were, there was, there was a couple of. 
major anchor, but the good thing is they was far enough away from the tree where they will re regather themselves. If it was a little bit close, I'd have been a little bit more concerned. They have to defend uh, Chip, the contractor. And he didn't do the work. It's somebody else did the work. And uh, the fortune for Chip, the, the person yeah. have a history of this kind of stuff. So whenever he's involved, we're going to have to get, be a little bit more involved in his movement. Not be here to beat him either. It's just he can't get out and see what's going on. And by the time I found out, the damage was already done. So being as far from a tree as we are, I think we're going to be okay. I'm sure we're going to be okay. Is, is there anything we can do for the tree um, to... Once, once we get the ground covered, we can kind of suggest that we throw heavy fertilizer on it in the spring of next season. It ain't going to be, I mean, this fall, matter of fact. Well, I've been struck. They, they have, they, uh, the contractor has, has, uh, has hired part of the tree to come in and do the deep root fertilization and, uh, and do any, any, other kind of uh, root pruning that needs that that has been done. The that's pruning has been done. I've yeah. looked at it. I'm okay with it. Yeah. So I think we're, you know, I think we caught it in time. A, a, a yeah. bad situation that didn't turn out too bad. Yeah. Said like yeah. that. So I think well, that's that's yeah. good to hear. I I hope I hope. And I'm going to get be in this call <laughs> this root pruning just to cover sides of the tree that was cut. So, okay, thank yep. you. Great. So that's that's pretty much the update on that. That's, that's as much as I know. I'll see you around. I, I will keep you in the loop on what's going on. Okay. Appreciate you. Thank you. Okay. okay. All right. Uh, let's move along to uh, the update on the Catalpa uh, on 10 York Street. Bartlett has been hired to prune it. Okay, good. Uh, with the instructions of yeah yeah so what I what I, what I want to do is that um, since we own that road I want to talk about the Norway maple at the African Meat House yep that's yes. it it's it's uh that's it, it it's in bad shape yes. the the you liability mean? factor and I know it's not on the general spring but the liability factor for that tree okay is getting to be to the point where so, we got to make a decision so the Marsh is probably going to get get it removed at, at some point. Is this the one? It's in the town sidewalk. So I know it's in the town sidewalk. Is this the one that I was actually here at a meeting a couple of years ago and yeah. we thought it was a good tree and it ought to be kept and now it's not a good tree? Well, it just, yeah. it just, it just, did the, the root damage have caught up with it? Mm -hmm. Maples just do not do very well in recovery with, with uh, root damage. Not any maple. I, mean, I, I didn't really eyeball it. I mean, I it, it, it yeah. had the same. It had the same dead top that it's, it's had it's, for a I while. Mean, it is majorly noticeable. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. Well, we'll see what's, let's take. A, let's have a look at that. Um, now, uh, let's jump off the the agenda a little bit. Uh, uh, the the trees uh, at on on. Uh, the trees on, uh, well, actually, maybe we'll take that up afterwards. Trees on, on uh, Orange Street, the, the honey locust on Orange Street. But we'll, we'll pick that up later at, at, at uh, Charlie Fisher's house. Yes. Yeah. We'll, we'll, pick it, we'll, we'll get to that later. All right. Uh, tree map. I am setting up a meeting with the uh, land council. Next week, because Will is not here, so uh, uh, Emily is going to be the, probably my resource. Okay, so I mean, get, get, get that ball going again. Now, uh, Mary, to bring you up to speed on that, we're we're trying to do G, you know, GIS, GIS mapping of all the town trees, so we don't get into this this business of yeah, I was in tree? on that a couple of years ago. Right, with the land council. Um, with Will, and yes, then after Will went to Natural Resources, he was going to pick it up there, but he's right. going to leave. So, yeah. Uh, but if there's anything that I can do through the Plus Department or the NPDC to mm -hmm. help that, 
move along, let me know. Okay. Yeah, I will. I will definitely. Yeah, we really like to get this off the ground. I mean, we all got a good start at it, but you know, it's a long way to go. Well, my priority is take what we have and get it in the system, yeah. and then we can add to it. But right now, yeah. we've got nothing in the system, right. and we have information you could go. Yeah, yeah, it's incomplete, but better than nothing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that, uh, that whole issue about 10 York Street, but, uh, it's, you know, Glidden was using, you know, when, in, in, that, in that, he was using that map, that partial map, mm -hmm. I think it was okay. as um, proof that it, that it wasn't a town tree, but, uh, you know. That's just thing. What I would like, some help from you guys with how to find more medallions because I'm out. I don't know where to go, who to go through. Um, because the bigger ones work better than the yep. little metal ones. I mean, you must, I mean, you must have had a source at one point. I, when I got here, we had it. Yeah, I just decided to start using We had a thousand of them. Yeah, do they need to be numbered? They don't necessarily need to be numbered, as long as it's got NTC on it. I can equate NTC. To, to address, I don't necessarily need a number or. Oh, it's helpful for any software no, for the number. For sure. So, is there a. Um, did you sort of exhaust through. I've, I've used everything. I've used and everything. Did, I've had. And did yours have numbers on it? Yes, they had numbers on it. So, did it go through like 500 something? Or 900. 900. Yeah. Something. Okay. So, do you. Did, were they chronologically. Like, did you. Did you go in any in order? In other no, words, no, like, no, is there no. a... Because if, if I don't order. recall, they said, you know, tree number 789, yeah. Yeah, this street. So um, NTC works. I mean, I don't necessarily have to have a number because we've numbered out. Right, no, but <laughs> if, if we can order them, I mean, if you're going to order I'm, them, we can... I'm trying to find a source, though. That's my issue. I'm trying to find a source to have them stamped. Professionally, yep. other than me getting little things banging. I'll, uh, I'll reach out to Mass Harbor Association, I think, or something. Yeah, like okay. That. Yeah. How about the company? You know, we did all that, all of those tree labels for the. Yeah, that was more, I mean, possibly them too. Uh, yeah. there's, there's somebody that has them. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, Just give me the lead and I can take it from me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I think that they would get numbered, numbers, right? Yeah. 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 Numbers. Start with a four digit start with, start with a thousand or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, the numbers help, but I mean, as long as we got NTC that says not to have a tree commission. Yeah. We want to keep it that way because that's what it's always been. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so forward. moving forward. Yeah. We, we, we just got to just got to commit to getting this done. We got to get it done. Yeah, we got to get it done. So, uh, you know, uh, and 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 the land councils probably are our our best avenue. Our best forward. right now. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. And Emily's willing. She's willing she's to willing help. She's willing to help. Yeah, I, I exactly. just got to sit down with yeah. her and find out what she's willing to go. Yeah. How she's willing to go by. She's yeah. willing to help. I mean, certainly. Yeah. And that's that's what separates Nantucket from most places. Yeah. You have people willing to stick their hand and say, yeah. I know what I can, I can give your hand up. Yeah. So uh, yes. they can get me with some kind of resource and try to come up with some medallion that would just put us over the top. Sure. Yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's you know, you can start from 1,000 and keep going. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. How many town trees have we got? Never enough, Dave. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean that's areas. Not, yo, I mean, I, I know what 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 what, 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 what that's areas. Are. That's areas I don't even go down. Yeah, down by the Red Gate, all that that whole area is all town trees. Kind of by you know, down by the Red Gate uh, of of the laundry mat. That's where that's where I am. Uh, no. Chris oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, we planted all yeah. those, yeah. That's yeah. the town tree. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just never go down that right. area, right. you know right. what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hussey Farm, yeah. yeah. Hussey Farm, and, and the yeah. problem is, property has changed so many times. So, they right. walk at somebody's door, that's my tree, <laughs> yeah, right. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, I don't even go down that road. You know? I mean, there's a couple of people still live there, say, Dale, don't forget, I got that town tree, yeah. Yeah. you know, on my property, like yeah. at uh. Vic Reed the other day that asked in his shot. He's like, we need to come get it. And um, Davis, what's his name? Mm -hmm. uh, down on Surfside Road. You planted that linden in his front yard. 
on Surfside Road. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Brian Davis. Brian Davis, yes. yes. I, I had to get in and get that. I didn't even yeah. know that Linda was one about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, and uh, he's getting ready to put another house up. He was, he called me to look at some stuff, to give him some advice on what to take, what to keep, what was good, what was bad. And uh, he's like, you know, that's a town tree. I said, no, I didn't know. And he was telling me, you planted there, so yeah. I got to get in and get that cleaned up, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Many so we many moves ago. Ago. We, huh? many moves yes, ago. Yes, yes, yeah. It's a beauty. It's yeah. a beauty. Yeah, it's a nice one. It's a beauty. Yeah. So this in my 30 years has never been flipped. Well, yeah. Yeah. So and I never pulled a with Rogers, so I mean it, it, it goes way back. I'm yeah. not having any work done until sure. it's time to get in there and get it cleaned up. For sure. And, uh, I mean Brian would love that. Sure. Yes, I spoke with him. And, yeah. 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 And I told him I'd get in and get that. Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah. I had a whole list of those at one point. There's something somewhere. Yeah. And it over. Yeah. And, and, you know, and, and I, I will actually I have I it's partly years ago did a did a big survey of I got, I got, I yeah, got, I got and, all the cards. Yeah. And and there, there was all animals though, mostly. Yeah. Right. It was all, it was all yeah, right. I think we, we, we categorized all the uh, all the NHT kids. Yes. And Mr. Bach passed away, so <laughs> little man on Bass Street with the dead down. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah oh he did. He passed away, yeah. What did he what did he do? Just the other day. Oh wow. So I gotta get in and get him might have been one of the last people to see him. Get him a, yeah, yeah, that's why I want to visit the city. Jim Joint. <laughs> Jim Jim Joint does. Oh, did he really? Yeah. Yeah. So no. and like I said, we we we're gonna take that other one down. Yeah. And we're just gonna get a medallion on that. That the one that you planted. Sure. Yeah. You yeah. know, so I just I just want to let me just talk to him last week. Well, yeah. Pass away. Well, well, so. That's too bad. Good guy. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So we so, definitely will get that on the record that okay. You know, well, time to we've got to we gotta get we gotta get going on this. So same as soon as you can give me some information, that'll be very helpful. If you need me to give you how one, big are those? Yeah, how big are those? I can get you one. I get one, yeah. I get one yeah. to him and you can kind of give you a ball ballpark. I can uh, grab one right now. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 I think there's one more left in the truck. Okay, so in the meantime, let's uh 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 Let's move on to, to uh, item four. Uh, fines, fines. Uh, now, Mary, I've talked, I talked. I know you were at concerns. I we're going to talk to town council eventually about this. But uh, uh, Erica, Erica didn't get get the information that we needed to uh, to live in time for the this meeting. So we've got a. I talked to Drew. Uh, Pat, Pat no, the new, new director, and he's going to give us a, a form, permission form to, to talk to the town council okay. directly about it. But I think we can, I think we can bat around some, some things about, uh, you know, what's an appropriate fine and, you know, levels of, of, of fining, uh, you know, if somebody's doing something without obviously without permission, yeah, but it's, removals it's, without permission. Even uh, pruning. Even, well, pruning, but I mean, pruning to me would be one level, you know, removal is- Well, pr know, pruning up to a certain percentage right. of the can. Oh, right. I just yeah. that pruning up yeah. of an elm tree in July. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Be yeah. yeah. The ball right. Yeah. Because now we're pushing the issue of that elm just Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. yeah. yeah. yeah I, mean, I would support the elms, especially the historic elms. Yeah. Actually, all the elms because they're all, you know, oh, difficult they, to replace. And they're, they're, we should get they're, special attention. They're, they're prices. Yeah. They, they yes. are prices. Yeah. You, can't, yeah. you can't put a figure on it. Well, well, even the ones that we planted in the 90s now, you, you couldn't do that. Again. Right. right. So, yeah. Yeah. There is a, um, I think there, there's a limit based on state regulations of what you can find overall, but you might be able to do it in a way that is up per day. There's a, there's, of a warning structure that would be mm -hmm. a little arduous, but we, I think we just need to get it memorialized to the next extent that the uh, but shouldn't the town be to set the own well yeah, rules not necessarily. Well, the state controls and that that's what I'm wondering is if we need you know a home rule petition right especially for the elms yeah. to be able to go beyond it's it probably limit. you're probably right yeah. you're probably right about that so oh, all right um well, so 
they will advise us. Um, I remember, you know, we tell us a bunch of stuff on the concom with this fine structure was a pittance too. It's just mm -hmm. that, and that was, you know, there's no teeth to it when it's 250 mm -hmm. bucks or whatever. But if the, the concom on the other hand has, has the ability to, 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 to stop a project right in the, in its track. And that was my other thinking too on this, that, you know, if it's a, if there's a permit, we might be able to get that in, into our, right sort of structure mm -hmm. too to say yeah but it's just stop work stop work you know you're not going to get your yeah. building permit whatever that's but, um, but we need to be advised on by the way uh i think your conversation with 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 ray poles is getting some traction sounds good i got an email from some guy that's going to start some project at 22 pleasant street mm -hmm. yeah and they indicated to him that that there's, there's, there might be some, some town, some town trees right. involved in, in, in this project. Twenty two, was twenty two plus. Is that past Pine Farms? I see there's no, 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 that, that's pleasant that's pleasant. across from Moore's End. Oh, pleasant, pleasant, pleasant. Where's the pleasant? So that, that's the odd side. Moore's End is the other. So the, on the other side, Anderson's place. I don't know who has it now. Um, it's probably either that or the next one. <laughs> Um, but on that, uh, you know, this is, this is, somebody should be sort of tracking this. Uh, the HDC has any number of applications every week. And I talked to Ray Paul, who's chair of the HDC, and he said, you know, we can't catch everything. Uh, you know, we'll, tr we'll certainly try, but you know, it's really incumbent on you guys as the tree advisory committee to see what's on the, the agenda and, and identify, you know, a project that might be, that might have a town tree on it. Um, that's obviously a pretty big job. And, and it needs a reference in on the GIS. Of where I the just, trees right. Are, if, you know. if I um, get notified, I got the freedom to kind of move around and see what's going on, but I never get notified from. Well, right. well Jay, you can sign up to get agendas emailed okay. to you as soon as they're posted. Okay. But it's going to be a huge list from yes, the yes. HCC, and the same properties are going to be on there week after week after week. Right. Okay. So you're going to have to do some work if you want to try and do that. Right. Yeah. But but yeah, you can you go to the town's website and sign up for the notifications for when the agendas are posted, sure. and you'll get them. Um, but that's just step one. Yeah. Right. It's actually, yeah. you know, visiting the properties. And, yeah. You know, I mean, it's not necessarily, you wouldn't have to go to every meeting, but because not every, no, not every property has a town tree on it, but I think a large number of these probably do, you yeah. know. And I, you know, what I said to Ray was maybe somebody could do that, right? Just alert mm -hmm. the applicant to say, have you looked into? The town, the yeah, possibility of a town tree on the property. Nice you know, that, that to have that question on the, on the, you know. And in lieu of our, G, in lieu of mm -hmm. our GIS overlay map on this, um, I think some just some basic groundwork needs to be done, you know, by, by somebody that has the time. You know, I don't know who that is. I, 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 I no, don't it, see all of this. It all goes hand in hand with identifying the town tree. Right, I know that. And then we well, we need to keep Atlantic Avenue in mind. If somebody just purchased uh, Lindsay Little House, Steve, Steve, who's Steve Lindsay? No, Lindsay owns uh, six eight Atlantic Avenue. Coming from five oh, yeah. corners on the left the, hand the side. Yes. Yeah. Somebody just purchased that. Mm -hmm. Oh right, the one with the. So head. we and, yeah. and I just happened to get it through. Somebody might have to go and talk to the girl who got a definitely on top of that. Yeah. That's a beautiful big old elm right in front of yeah. that. And that's the kind of thing where I would say, you know, if we can reach out either through the realtor or uh, through the property transfer records yeah. or something. Who really is going to lose the sale for a million dollars though? Yeah. <laughs> and that thing so well, for that's, two, that's that's really not that's and that and that house sits right on right on the street, right? Right on the sidewalk. And you know they're gonna they you know, because they, because they have they have they have the square footage right there that they could probably build. They can build right, but you know, yeah. um, I don't know. Well, anyway, so it's just a it's it's a, 
I think we need a, a an interim kind of plan here because we're not going to have this GIS mapping overnight. It's taken how many years so far? Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. When was the last time we were here? Thirty yeah. years ago. Um, so uh, I don't know. Just wanted to mention that. But I, I can ask Leslie Snell, the planning director, what the feasibility is of updating the HTC's application. Yeah, right. Just to have a check check this box, yeah. kind of, you know. You know, I, I talked to her too. You know, I, I mean, how about this? Well, I, I'm in a that, little better position. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, somebody that has an application, you know, uh, does your property have a town tree on it? Uh, well, I, I would yes, say, you know, know, they they call the office and they say, you know, uh, Dale, does this property have a town tree on it? And that's what I need to get from yeah. um, the guys down at the old electric company. That's what I never get. Mm -hmm. That's the downside. They sign off on it, then all of a sudden the damage has been done. No, yeah. exactly. It's more like claw and trying to claw that, you know? You know, I like that. that. I like that. Yeah. You know, just, uh, I don't know. Of course, the electric company is the worst, is the check. worst offender of pruning town trees that uh, I can think of. I, every time I go by Nancy Severance's house. Oh, dude, I, a matter of fact, I have a meeting with the arborist for National Grid as soon as he get to Nantucket. As soon as he get to Nantucket. Yeah. And what these guys got in their mind, just only Main Street I'm concerned with. And what I need them to do, they, they need to call me every moment to find out is of the town tree sure. so I can instruct them. Yep. And this was one of the companies that came down after us and prepared the storm, and they sent them here. Yep. They had to go out and do some stuff. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But we will address this. One. And I've yep. already talked to Luke. Yep. I've already talked to Luke. And he will see this. Yep. So, so are, the, are the nice trees on the NC7 property they, tree? the, uh, the, they're, they're part of the NHT trees, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They yeah. have medallions on them, don't they? Yeah. yeah. Some of the biggest, some of the biggest lindens on Nantucket. Yeah. yeah, it's surprising there's some nice trees around us. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that big elm that yeah. kind of just up the street. Should, the should, have a, should have an NTC on. Right. That yeah. that one. Yeah, yeah. But those two, the, 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 the two. Three of them. The two, yeah, the, yeah, three of them. They, they just got ratched. <laughs> I mean, and that's, that, I can't have just, it. it. It's ugly. And what they've done, they've created a liability. Yeah. Because they put all the weight on one side and you got north winds yeah, coming through. Right it looks nice from the looking out. Yeah. It's not for to drive by. So. Yeah. All right. So what's the uh, what's the next uh, what's the next thing with the uh, town council? Is that in the works? Is there that will be in the. Uh, Drew's going to download that. Get right. we get permission and 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 we talk to town council in the next meeting about what uh, what what we can what we can and can't do. I know. The other thing that, that's on my mind, you know, especially again for the, the whole building, oh, yeah, is there something we can do no, about no, historic no. status? You know, if we can have a historic building, if the entire island is a historic landmark, is there something we can do from that angle on the trees, mm -hmm. either for protection or enforcement or fines or something? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, maybe that has more weight than than country designation right. or an additional weight. I would say additional, you know. Yeah. They certainly, I mean, it, the elms here are, are a treasure, mm -hmm. absolutely. You know, I think we all agree on that. It's, it's more like, how do you, is a historic designation, does that carry more weight in a potential fine structure mm -hmm. or what you can do for protection measures more, more so than, than what is legal for town tree protection? Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's a good point. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, all right. So anyway, we'll revisit that when we talk. Talk because I don't think it's, there's no further discussion about the, the fines until we until we. I mean, we could just be blowing smoke at this point. So, and we already did welcome Mary Long. To the, <laughs> welcome again. Uh, Southern Pine Beetle update. I have not gotten any updates. Well, I, I got. I just, uh, I just, I just went to a conservation foundation meeting. I'm on the board, with that. and uh, they've got, they've, they've cut down everything that was, that was infested. Uh, the, the problem uh, right now is 
they hired Bartlett to cut them all down, but now they've got they've got a pile of of of, of things of, of trees on the ground, and uh, they've got a they've got to score them all, and then and then chop up the the tops, and uh, once they they have to score all of it's it sounds involved. Yeah, I you know to me it, you know I I, I didn't mention it to me because it got we ran out of time, but you know, Sam Sam Myers has that that huge chipper. Yes, they, he could chip all that stuff up easily enough. He's got a whole, whole he's got a whole tree chipper. Dude. He's got six inch. Yeah, I mean, it, and that's about as big as all the trees are. But it's inch. it's isolated at this point. It, you know, it, the foundation's been monitor, monitoring trees all over the island. So, it, what is what is the protocol? Pretty much, that's it. Removing, just removing and shipping. dropping it, dropping it, getting uh, 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 and getting a perimeter around yeah. around those dead trees. Um, you know where the beetle might have moved into. Does it? How does it move? Do you know? Uh, they, they, you know, they, 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 they sort of run out of room for their themselves, and and, and they. Uh, they they let off a pheromone mm -hmm. and and they move. It's like any other, you know, like uh, Elmar feet. You know, same thing. I mean, it's like they move. And this is why I, tree. I, I, once you cut a pine tree this time of year, you send out pheromones. Well, we know that. So, but this is another thing I think we should, should because turpentine beetle does some serious damage as well. Right? Oh, we know it's between turpentine beetle, pine tip moth. Yep. And 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 now this, it's it's we got we got a problem. It's scary. And then did you hear that they did Jim them did find a land found two land flies on that somewhere? Yes, yeah. that's the, that's where I think somewhere in Wisconsin. Uh, let me confirm that. And that's the thing that gets into ash too, right? Uh, land fly take everything. Yeah. Okay. And then that's and incredible. then and then we we fight we fight the uh, the nematode for the um, the beech tree beech tree right. nematode. Right. 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 Lantern flies are nuts. I've seen them in, uh, in Portland, Maine. Oh my god! I never and they just cover a tree. Just cover. Just, just cover. cover. Well, you know, and then you got little kids going in for homework, picking them off trees to make. You yeah, know, they're really pretty. Yeah, yeah, they're pretty little, but they are devastating. Yeah, yeah. They was found mm -hmm. on that time. That's interesting. Well, hopefully we can get a, get a handle on that. Did, you, did, did they? They, 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 from what I've gathered, I haven't talked to Jim about it again. I will talk to him. Then I talk to tree stuff. Can't like around nursery stuff? Or it, I don't know. Well, it, well, that it, sounds like it. Probably. It before, has to come from nursery stuff. Before yeah. or after the storm? The oh, be way before. Way before. Way before. before. I mean, a month, a month ago. So. Huh. But uh, anyway, this, the, uh, the uh, southern pine beetle. Could be quite devastating here. And then we got the it's, it's gotten out of hand on oh, oh, it's getting out of hand or it's starting to get out of hand. We got the elm zigzag fly now somewhere in Nash. That's devastating itself. Right. <laughs> it's all global warming. Well, at least we're at least we're contained, you know. Yeah. See, I mean, yes. I mean we, yeah. we just we just I mean, hopefully we can get tree nurses to start treating trees before we bring them in. That's that's only we gonna solve the problem. There's mm -hmm. so much coming in right now. Yeah, yeah. you can't even. Yeah. I remember, you know, for Dutch elm disease, I used to have to inspect loads of firewood. I mean, there was a, you know, what do you? <laughs> yeah, what you, you know, you see it right now. Can't travel across state line because of the emerald ash borer, the uh, yeah. Asian longhorn beetle. Yeah, you know, you still can't, and it all technically supposed to be killing. Them, but who's doing it? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, I gotta sign off. I gotta get to yeah. somewhere else. But I, I have like five more minutes. All right, let's talk about the uh, the honey locust. Honey locust. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's we lost lost. Uh, I'm not familiar with the the the, the uh, Fisher property at the corner of East uh, what West Creek. West, West Creek. West Creek. I can't. Yes. West West Creek Road and, and Orange and Street. Street. There's two. Right where um. That, uh, Andrews, Fisher, Andrews. No, Fisher. Oh, uh, yeah, it's it's, it's the across the street. Yeah, from Fisher's. Oh, there's two honey locusts on the property that are in bad shape, mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, we lost part of uh, 
one that's kind of one sided now. Yeah, uh, store in the big, side big branch. In the yeah. side that's standing, it just I mean I sent you pictures. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it, it's, it's not a matter of what what, what we got to worry about what somebody gonna complain about. We got to worry about if something happened. Somebody can get hurt. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Is it right at that park? It's, it's right across. Right across from Abbott Ocean. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Right next to uh, going toward the Aki Mirror. Yeah, okay. All right. yeah, yeah, it's right in the corner. I got you. It was planted in 1856. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, both of them is in really well. One of them is in really bad shape from damage, and one of them is in really bad shape from just decline. Yeah. So, uh, but the good thing is they're willing to let us replant them trees back. And I think if we're going to replant, we should replant with locusts. You know, we can do a skyline or we can do a yeah. sunburst or... No, I think I think it should probably be... I, sunburst would make it look too too different from every, everything okay. else. You know? I'm just, I'm just, I think they're probably shade masters or skylines or something. I think they're skylines. Yeah, yeah. So... Uh, so. Uh, and that's the that's the whole streetscape. Right? Yeah, it is. I, I keep it the same. I mean, so, then I got to get him Mr. Mr. Fox's tree. I mean, just a matter of direct. Yeah. Have some kind of direct so just to put devil's advocate, we've got permission granted for some for the uh, I've forgotten the term rhinos to take an elm off the other right. end of the street. Any value in trying to move it to this lot? Uh, no. no. So, okay. it, it, the the time to move that is yeah. past. Yeah. It it got too big. Okay. You know, there's there's it, it, there was no option. There was no option. There was at one time, but it, it okay. never, just let never, it never, up. Never, <laughs> it never it's it, it's it's way too big. Now. So in your travel bay, look at that. You you can't see the damage from from the ground. But you can, yeah, okay. but no, I will. Up I'll in the bucket, it's some serious damage. Yeah. Okay. Any other one is in bad shape. It's in it's in, it's in severe decline. Yeah. This is a lot of bucket. Pretty much. Is that right? Yeah. yeah it, it just, it just, it's dangling. Yeah. It's just the matter. The fortunate part is in the yard, but the tree that would, that with the serious concern is all on the roadside. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, and that, and it's all one side. Mm -hmm. so. so look at it. And, 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 yeah. It's, it, it's definitely, I'm going to quote, quote somebody, asset liability. Yeah, for sure. And this is a liability. Yeah. 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 Do they have anything underground in the yard? No, no, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. I will have a dig safe once yeah. we come up with with the okay due 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 to the damage to go and get this thing back. Right now, uh, mm -hmm. speaking of that, are we getting underway with the uh, with the um, with stump grinding this this winter? How's that? It, it has we have the stump grinding? We have a stump grinder that attaches to bark. It's, it's sitting out sideways doing the best, best, best work. It's out in the way. Yeah, just great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what I want to do, I'd like to get it and take it into uh, a park off Cliff Road there. Just to kind of get well, caught. Well, it's yeah. Park. Right. Yeah. To kind of get, get, get familiar with uh -huh. what right. it does. Because you can't really see if you got one that you stand inside. Uh -huh. you, can, right. you can see where your curb is yeah. with this, and you're trying to look over the head of your yeah, right. yeah. It's and if you're in the sidewalk, you can't get on the backside to come forward to see where you're at. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. you know, we should have just went with the walk behind. So, it, yeah, it the walk, us all yeah. the coverage we did. Yeah, yeah. The, the walk behind probably. Yeah. Made, so. sure. But I'm, get, I'm, I'm getting ready to get my shuffle. Yeah. I had one locked down, and then the guy wanted to play financial games with me. And I was like, yeah, I don't worry about it. Mm -hmm. All right. Anybody got anything else? Charlie? Just quickly, so I just emailed uh, everybody on the uh, the committee uh, a couple emails. One with a tag, uh, an email to a, uh, a website for uh, tree tags to be engraved, okay. and another one is to the town of Lexington's tree code, uh, which looks pretty comprehensive. It's worth a read. They've got things broken down pretty well, um, which it looks like they've got a base penalty of about twenty dollars uh, per inch DVH. And then they've got all sorts of mitigation stuff in here. Uh, so it could be helpful as we try to move forward with progressing our own penalties and mitigation bylaws to look at something that's already established in the state. And that was the town of Lexington, Charlie? Yes. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah. I, I so it, it's, it's very comprehensive as far as enforcement. You know, um, they've got a table of 
And this is this is a town. This is town a, a by their yeah. This is, these are the town of Lexington bylaws. So it's already standing in the state. So for instance, replacement inch calculation, well, anything less than twenty four inch DBH, uh, same number of inches as removed. Anything over twenty four inches, four times the amount of inches removed. Uh, for somebody who wants to do some mitigation, so it's pretty comprehensive. I suggest uh, everyone take a look at it, so we can kind of see how we'd like to progress. Because I think it's if it's already in the state this way, there's some good legs to stand on to change, you know, our own bylaw. Right. Good. Well, let's let's down, get that download and we can discuss that. And that's What's your name? Your email, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, I don't think so. Well, uh, you know, once we, I can have, certainly help with ordering tree tags and that sort of stuff if we find something we like. Uh, we do also have a tree, a stump grinding contract, I believe, that's still active with Pathfinder Tree. Um, if Should we need it? Okay. I mean, it, and we don't have to go out to bid with that. No, it's a, I, I'll, have to look at, I'll have to look it up, but I believe we did a, most of those contracts we tried to do for three years. And so that, that went out to bid, I believe, last year. So it should be in uh, good standing, it's just, you know. And they are are they are also our town landscaper now, so they frequent the island. Um, so they're they're here often if we need to get stuff done. Good, good, good to know. All right, I think we can uh, we can we gotta get a motion to adjourn. All right, <laughs> All see you next time. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to check in with you guys about this. It's yep. the request for legal services. Yep. So there's a checklist. It's the first one that's going out. Okay. I'm going to assume that if any of these are no, that they will push this on the town council. So, you know, check with town regulations, pertinent to your department, call pertinent state agencies, check the pertinent state statutes. Some of this might not apply. You know, I think, I don't know how, how unique. Our situation is I don't think the town trees. It, it, it's, the last one is talk to your counterpart in another community. So, uh, but you have to submit this. So. Yeah, so I filled out one, but I, I'll, if you guys can just, I'll, I'll take a look just, at it. Just so that yeah. you guys can say okay. yes, yes, yes.